So, hello everyone. My name is Dr. Colin Zhu. We are here at the Vegan Women's Summit, and I am here with Miyoko Shinner, right? Hello. Hi. Dr. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you so much for taking the time out. Um, I know that you are the chair you know, of the summit. What do you hope to achieve with the event? No, I'm really hoping that this will... I've had already so many women come up to me telling me that they have struggled for so long that they've fallen down so many times. And I want people to leave this summit feeling really inspired to find that strength within themselves and keep on, keep on trucking, really. We have to work together to change the world and we have to do that by holding hands and supporting each other and i hope that a conference like this will inspire people to do that right and where do you see this going in the next you know three to five years would you say i'm hoping that this conversation becomes more open i think there's a lot of people that have come to me there was one woman in tears Mm -hmm. this morning who was telling me her story and I think that we have to become more sensitive to what's happening behind the scenes to women in the industry, women in workplaces, etc. Because women really do have the capacity to help change uh, how we operate as a society. There's so much that we can bring to the business world, to nonprofits, to just about every single space possible. I think we bring with us compassion and caring for others, not just simply what's the result at the end of the day, in other words, the ROI. We bring a lot of of compassion and passion to the process. So I am really hoping that as women learn to stand up for each other and speak out together, that we can really transform the entire economic system that exists today. In terms of female entrepreneurship and for those that are watching that are you know, more up and coming, want to start their business or just been in it for a little bit, you know, longer, you know, where can they go to find these resources? You know, you've had an amazing career, you know, you've amassed so much. How, you know, how, where can people go to, you know, learn about this stuff besides events like this, would you say? Yeah, no, the event is really uh, fantastic, but I think we also need to have some sort of nonprofit mentorship system for women. I mentor a lot of people, a lot of women, I don't charge for it. People call me. I, you know, I'm happy to give them an hour of my time just to help them think through things. But I think we need a formal process that is non-extractive. In other words, I think there's a lot of accelerators that women go into uh, where the accelerator takes a big percentage of their company from the get-go. And I think what we really need is some sort of platform that supports women and, and underserved entrepreneurs, people of color, women, people with other that aren't, I don't know, outside of the so-called privileged class and a platform where we can mentor, we can teach, we can inspire women. I'm hoping to start something like that. I want to dedicate the rest of my life to not only the animals that I have worked so hard to save, but also to support women. So it's almost like a female think tank in terms of having lots of players collectively at the table. Yes, yeah, something like that where we support women and really give them the tools that they need to succeed, help them rewrite the playbook for entrepreneurship uh, because women don't watch out for themselves frequently. I know a lot of male entrepreneurs and they make sure when they go into business that, you know, they're watching out for number one from the time they take VC money. Women don't. Women are only thinking about their company, the good of animals, the good of the planet, etc. And they oftentimes just sort of forget about themselves. And so we need to do something to help women really think through the entire process. Right. Having them, you know, have, being in the community so they can share and rely on one another instead of working in silos. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think women do work in silos. I mean, I'm very thankful for opportunities like the summit to bring people together. But I think we need more day to day activities. We need, you know, we need a resource that women can reach out to any time of the year. Yeah. So, you know, what do you hope to see in like five years if you have more of a level playing field with more CEOs and female entrepreneurs and more like having this think tank? What can we possibly change with that, would you say? Yeah, no, I think we can actually change the economic system so that we, any, that every business actually exists for the betterment of something. In other words, a mission. I've been slammed for saying that if you're not an activist, 
you're a product pusher. But but I truly believe that business has to be a form of activism because we're at a critical point in history where if we don't save the planet, we don't save the animals, we don't save ourselves, we're doomed. And so we have to use business as a form of activism. I, I know that doesn't sit well with 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 the current economic system, but we have to change that. We really do. Yeah. I mean, just the last COP27 in Egypt, you know, said that we're making progress, but not enough, right? We need it in so many different areas of the industry. Yeah. I mean, even with COP27, I mean, nobody is taking the role of food seriously. The role mm -hmm. of food on climate change is not taken seriously mm -hmm. by the world's largest sustainability forum. Mm -hmm. And so we need women to speak up. We need women to, to stand up and, and shout out what we need to do to actually make real change, not just skirt around the issues. We spend most of our time skirting around issues because we're trying to placate the funders, whether it's the donors, the investors, the, uh, the, the sponsors. The, 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 the traditional stakeholders. That's right. We're, wait, we're always trying to please the traditional stakeholders. We have to stop doing that. Yeah. The, the tr only true stakeholders should be truth. And that's what we live in, right? right? That's what we're surrounded by, yes. and we're on the same planet, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the true stakeholders are people, planet, and animals, and that's what we need to start thinking about first. And I believe women have the ability to do that. I love it. Thank you so much, Miyoka. I really appreciate okay. it. So, thank you.